another movie that's kind of finding resurgence is Burlesque. And oh. it's very different. Oh, sorry. Um, it's Lots very power, it's okay. Yeah. Um, it's very different than kind of like the classic action films that you're usually starring in. Um, and it just re-entered like Netflix's like top 10 movies in the oh. US. So and I wanted to ask you what time, what was the last time you watched the movie and like kind of what stands out the most um, filming that when looking back on your experiences? Uh, last time I watched that movie was at Grauman's Chinese Theater <laughs> premiere. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't watched it since, that's a shame. Um, because every time, it's tough because every time I'm like, oh, my kids would like this movie. They get a little weird, and so it's a little, little, yeah. Um, what was the question? The question was, uh, what stands out the most of filming burlesque in comparison to all the different projects that you have that seem to be more like action based? Right, right. Um, I, I love the opportunity to do something not like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably weirdly closer to my disposition than I would even maybe acknowledge or admit. Um, it's probably more aligned with who I am. Uh, <laughs> um, I had a I had a good time. I mean, it was a difficult time. I mean, obviously working with Christina and and she was amazing but just the i don't know the publicity of having christina aguilera in something was a little distracting and i feel like you know took it took the uh it took the focus of having a christina aguilera thing and her music has to be spot on and her dancing has to be spot on story you know i don't know I had a good time with it, but you know, in hindsight, I, of course, I wish we would have done things differently. I wish I would have spoke up for for our storyline a little bit more. But you know, it is what it is. You live and learn. 